Huh. Hey guys, it's Isabella and Michael Kummer here and in today's video we want to show you how to very quickly make delicious keto fat bombs that the kids like, that we like, uh, but most importantly they are they take less than 10 minutes to prepare. Before we get started make sure you subscribe and you click on the alert button so you get notified when I publish more videos like this. For today's fat bombs, what do we need? We need nut butter, and you can use either you know, regular nut butter from the store, or you can use something like this. Uh, Perfect Keto has them, Super Fat has them. They're already sweetened, so if you use pre-sweetened, not with sugar, uh, nut butter, then you can omit the sweetener that we'll use as part of this recipe. So we're gonna use this jar here, and the recipe called for one cup, that's eight ounces of nut butter, but this recipe is so forgiving, um, I'm gonna use 12 ounces and it'll be just as fine. So let's do the following. Let's start with getting nut butter in here. You can use a spoon. And then we're gonna use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer. You can do it by hand, however you wanna do it, but we wanna definitely mix and blend everything well together. Alice, everything goes in there. Everything. Uh huh. And the other ingredient we're gonna use is cocoa powder, two thirds of a cup, I already put it in there. Um, try to use uh, unsweetened, obviously, you don't wanna have cocoa powder that has sugar, that would be counterproductive and not so much keto. With the almond butter, we try to use, uh, or we try to find organic and roasted almond butter, or butter from roasted almonds, and that has a, uh, a reason because almonds are sources of anti-nutrients, I'm gonna link down an article about anti-nutrients so you can learn more. Uh, I'm gonna help you. So you can learn more what the issue with it is. Basically, anti-nutrients are compounds in certain foods like nuts that bind certain minerals in the food that you eat and preventing your body from absorbing them. And by roasting or heating those anti-nutrients or soaking them in some cases, you can reduce their uh, amount or remove them or destroy them completely. So with nut butter, I always recommend roasted nut butter and try to find organic, even though this is organic, no, it's only non-GMO. It's very difficult to find organic nut butter. So we have the nut butter now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in the cocoa powder and don't overdo it with cocoa powder. If you like cocoa, um, don't go nuts with it. Don't add much more than the two thirds of a cup because cocoa powder has carbs a lot of fiber as well, but this is really the, um, one of the two sources of carbs that you wanna keep low because we are making keto fat bombs. So low carb, high fat. The next thing we're gonna use is uh, monk fruit extract. And this is a uh, crystallized version. We are using this one, or that's the one we have right now. It's monk fruit combined with uh, sugar alcohol, erythritol. Uh, there is pure monk fruit as well that I would recommend. That's the better option. And if you use pure monk fruit, you only need a tiny amount, like 1 64th of a teaspoon or something like that. Right now we used five tablespoons because it's not pure monk fruit. The other thing that we use is a pinch of salt. I give it a couple of pinches, like a tablespoon, so you can a little bit more. And even more. And one more. That's good. That's roughly a tablespoon. Uh, then we have coconut fat or coconut oil, and that's uh, solid. You can use this back on. That's solid. Um, it gets softer and it melts above room temperature. So if you like to make it a little bit easier to mix, you can heat it up a little bit. Uh, we just use it here at room temperature, and then we're gonna throw in some pastured butter, just to further increase the fat um, ratio of that recipe. And now we're gonna mix everything together. And you can turn it on here. Careful with your fingers. Oh, we have to plug it in too, huh? <laughs> Hold on. It's always good to plug in the kitchen machine, all right? Turn it up. Please, careful now. <laughs> Don't turn it on very fast from the beginning because all the cocoa powder is gonna be in your face. And once everything is moist, you turn it up. And make sure in particular the butter and the coconut fat get well blended in here. All right, that should do it. Looks like this. So now here's the price for your help. 
And what I really like about this recipe is, or fat bombs in general, that kids love them. And whenever, you know, kids wanna have sweets or a treat or whatever, you know, we typically don't give any of that to them. But with fat bombs, there is nothing in there that they shouldn't have. And what we're gonna do next is, we're going to scoop that stuff into that um, silicon baking sheet thingy. You can use like a pastry bag if you have. Um, I don't have one. So that's much cleaner, much quicker. The slightly slower approach, is it good? <laughs> that's the good stuff. The slightly slower approach is to use a spatula. So we are going to um, put it in a form and then stick it in the freezer for maybe an hour and leave it in there actually and just take out what we eat. So it's good stuff, tastes even better frozen, um, I wanna say. So we're just gonna fill that stuff up. And the other thing you can do is if you don't have coconut oil, if you don't have butter at home, you can use ski, you can use basically any, any oil that doesn't have a very distinct flavor. So I probably wouldn't use olive oil um, because you can taste it, uh, but any other fat that is not a vegetable oil, so you want to stay away from that. But if you want to use ghee, if you want to use coconut fat, if you want to use um, butter, all of that is fine. Two hours later. And the other, the first time I recorded this video a few weeks ago, I accidentally forgot the sweetener, uh, the monk fruit. And I'm like, oh, you know, this is not gonna taste that great, but guess what, it, it tasted good because the almond butter is sweet. Six hours later. And again, one of my, the main reasons why we make these suckers a lot is because the kids can have them. I mean, there is, there is nothing in there that I wouldn't want my kids to eat. It's high in fat, it's low in carbs, it has some protein, um, and, and that's perfect. Three days later. And while you watch me doing this, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the alert button so you get notified when I publish more awesome recipes. And I also, I should mention, um, you can check out my, my blog article. Um, down below I'm gonna link it. That has all the steps and all the measurements in both the US as well as the metric form. So depending on where you are in this world, you can repeat this recipe easily three weeks later you can use any nut butter really the only thing i would not do is use peanut butter for numerous reasons number one is peanuts are legumes and not nuts and legumes are very inflammatory and they contain toxins that are just part of the growing and processing um, methods and there is nothing you can do to avoid them so the fda has introduced safe levels uh, but you know it's like radiation there are no safe levels and the other thing is they contain also a lot of antinutrients and so I would recommend you to use a nut butter instead of peanuts but the best nut butter for this recipe is actually macadamia nut butter many months later Let's see almost done here and depending on how messy you are or how clean you are you can actually fill up almost here the whole sheet so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, and that was it. So that's a very simple, very quick recipe for delicious keto fat bombs. So I'm gonna stick this in the, in the freezer now and uh, take it out in an hour and see how they look.